find me at twitch.tv slash boozly and you're watching Hot Talk. Hawks, it's September 13th, 2018. I'm Jenna Fulton. And I'm Ava Siniskalki. Hey Jenna, did you know we have a science Olympiad team here at school? No, what is it like? Pole vaulting into a graduated cylinder? Not quite, but here's a video to help us learn more about our team. Hi, I'm Mrs. Dudden. I'm the Science Olympiad coordinator for El Dorado High School. It's now our third year with our competition team. Science Olympiad is a way for students to be able to go outside the science classroom. So we have a lot of events that we don't normally learn about in our regular science classes and get out of what we always do. We have uh, five main categories of events where you can compete in biology events, you can compete in earth and space sciences, physics, chemistry, engineering, and just general science inquiry. And there are three different ways we compete. We compete with just regular tests, pen and paper. We also have lab events where they complete a lab during the event. And we have pre-builds where we'll build something and bring it to the competition with us. I'm Ryan Evans and I'm co-captain of the Science Olympiad team. I have been part of this team for, uh, this is going to be my third year now, and uh, the impact that it's had on me has been nothing but positive. I've loved every event that I've been part of and it's just been an overall really great experience for me. We've gotten a lot more comfortable with our situation. Just this past year we've really started to take heading and really start to become comfortable with the stuff that we're doing here. My name is Jason Keeson. This will be my third year on Science Olympiad and I'm the lab and inquiry captain. To me, Science Olympiad has been a broader part of my science career because not only does it broaden my intelligence in the science category, but it also provides more hands-on experience. You can come and see me, Mrs. Dutton, in room 901, and you have until the end of the month, so September 28th, to turn in a contract. It is a seventh period class, so you do receive a grade for the semester. Ava, Ava. Wherefore art thou, Ava? Um, Jenna, what are you doing? Reciting my latest poem. Do you like it? Sure, but let's leave the poetry up to the professionals. The sunlight raining through my windows tried to tell me that everything was the same. All of my poems sound the same. My songs all sound similar, too similar. But if you read them by moonlight and listen to them as you hear the ocean breathe, you can see my soul and you can hear me breathe. And by moonlight, maybe you will understand. I've been inspired by a lot of people. Most of the time it's actually not people, but events that happen to me that then I write about my feelings for. But a lot of people in my life that kind of started, you know, getting the ball rolling. My fourth grade teacher was really big on writing, actually. She had us join a program called NaNoWriMo. And it's basically the whole month of November, you write a novel. And so it was like a creative writing kind of like stepping stone to what I do now. I was homesick for a place that I had never known. But when I held you close, I never felt like home. It's really just a collection of poetry that I wrote over the course of probably like last year. Um, it was actually an assignment from um, Mr. Ash. It was our health and end of the year assignment. And so I decided to write a book because a lot of the poems in here are about mental health and kind of just the journey through all of that happening. Like I write, and even though other people write and they put their words down on paper, the most like important thing is being emotionally aware with yourself and knowing yourself because after achieving that, you can do whatever you want with your words. I just think that if you're going to write creatively, you just have to let it happen. Forcing writing is probably one of the worst things that you can do. You need to not worry about what other people think. Hey Jenna, do you want to hear my rapping skills? I can really serve some bars. I'll pass, but you know who can really serve it up? The girls volleyball team. Oh. 
Look at you. You're like five foot nothing. You're so special, you're black and gold. Set me. Ball. Got you. Look at you. And you're just fresh meat. They support you. It's time to support them. What time is it? Summertime. Time for vacation. Jenna, you know summer's over, right? I don't mean to bust your bubble, but we're back in school now. But do you know what it is time for? What? It's time for extra A's. Bill Nye the Science Guy. Senior Sunrise is on Friday, September 14th at 6 a.m. Seniors, be there for our first senior event of the school year. This is our year of last, so make it count. Community service hours can be earned helping Lupe during the Holiday Boutique on October 6th. See Lupe in the girls' locker room if interested. Rock, paper, scissors tournament. Be sure to go to the tournament in the gym next Wednesday, September 19th. 64 students will be competing in this fun and simple game, and the winner will receive a prize. Be sure to sign up outside the activities office at break or lunch. The following colleges will be here this month. Make sure to check it out at the Career Center or see Miss Hamilton. If you are interested in starting a club this year or you are looking to recharter a previous club, come to the ICC meeting today in room 807 at lunch. Rose Drive Friends Church needs volunteers to help in their food pantry on Wednesdays and Saturdays. Contact Tony Turling at the email below with questions. Hey freshmen, make sure to buy your freshman fun night tickets outside of the activities office. We can't wait to see you on Wednesday the 19th from 6 to 7.30 p.m. Miss Wilsuncha and Miss Yorbalinda are looking for students who are self-motivated, organized, and active in community service and involved in performing arts for the competition, where every finalist is awarded scholarship money. If you are interested, please talk to your counselor. Attention sophomores and juniors, the PSAT will be held on Saturday, October 13th at El Dorado. Be there or be square. If you would like to earn community service credit working in the library at break or lunch, please see Mrs. Guy. Hey Hawks, just a reminder that boys basketball tryouts are tomorrow in the new gym from 3.30 to 4.30. And with that, let's head over to Jock Talk. Hello Hawks, I'm Aaron Blakely and you're watching Jock Talk. Last week at the Bell game, our football team had a tough loss to the Tigers, 31-3. They next play El Medina tomorrow night at Bradford Stadium. Come out and show your support, Hawks. Our boys' water polo team had a great week as well. They played Buena Park on Saturday in a tournament and won 12-4. They also played Estancia later that day and also won 17-2. On Tuesday, they played St. John and also won 15-2. They next play against Don Lugo on Friday. Our Lady Hawks had a great week as they kept their winning streak up. They went up against Santiago Canyon last Saturday and won with a score of 4-2. They also played against Rosary on Tuesday and crushed them with a score of 16-2. They are at Valencia after school on Friday. Head over to go show them your support. Our girls golf team had a great week this week, starting off against Western on Monday and won with a score of 198-264. to They also went up against El Medina on Tuesday and narrowly won with a score of 232-233. to they next play against Yorba Linda today. On Tuesday, our girls volleyball team played Esperanza. They put up a good fight and made it very close, but unfortunately lost 3-1. They play Foothill today at 545 on the Joe Ride Gym. Please send in your footage to Hawk Talk Sports at PYLUSD.org to get it featured in Jock Talk. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in to Jock Talk. Check next week for some more sports updates. All right, Hawks. Well, that wraps up another episode of Hawk Talk. I'm Avis Niskalki. And I'm Jenna Fulton. Thanks for tuning in and have a thrilling Thursday. Hashtag alliteration.